Hi, we're Troop 71833. I'm Harriet. I'm, I'm Meredith. I'm Celine. <laughs> and since we've made over a hundred lanternfly traps, um, we wanted to share uh, kind of our process and what we learned that made um, the lanternfly building easier. Um, and now that we're graduating, we want to pass the torch on to all of you. So we're going to go through step by step, you know, the materials you'll need, the tutorial for how to do this. So hopefully when March comes around, you guys can make this on your own. So now we will be going over the materials that you'll need to make your lantern fly trap. The first thing you'll need is a 24 by 30 inch piece of netting. And then you will have a zip tie a pair of scissors, the ring off the top of a jug, nine feet of synthetic twine, just to make sure that the birds don't eat at it, the Gorilla Tape since it's weatherproof, two cutout jugs, a plastic Ziploc baggie, a regular stapler along with the staple gun, and then a 10 inch piece of wood and a 19 inch piece of wood. So the first <laughs> thing you wanna do is make sure that your netting is, um, you want to have the widest part at the bottom. So you want to just make sure that the longest side is here. And then you fold over the top two into a corner, kind of like you're making a paper airplane. You want to take your scissors and for about half an inch or like a thumb, you just cut the piece off. Then the next step is you'll put the that part of the netting through the top of the milk jug and then just pull it out around the edges and make sure that once you get it around the edges you want to stick your finger back inside there just to make sure that there's it's smooth with the lining so that the bugs can crawl through and not get caught next you're going to grab one of these um milk bottle rings and then you just put it back on top of the netting to secure it and try and push it down as far as possible just to make sure that it won't slip off when you like put it on your tree and other things. So next you want to put the second milk jug on top and you want to make sure that the handles are completely lined up so that way there's like a straight line between the two handles. Then you will take about a nine inch piece of Gorilla duct tape and you will be, once you line them up, you just want to go around and connect the two, making sure that it's as flat and tight as possible. We take these two um, smaller pieces of duct tape. So they're just one piece of duct tape that's been split in half and they're about eight inches. So what you do is you take the smaller piece and wrap it through the handle and cross it over. And this basically just secures um, the two pieces of milk jug to each other. Then you're just going to do the same thing on the top, take it and then you put it about halfway down and you just cross them over each other again just to make sure that they're together. We take a stapler and we have to staple the netting down in the back to make sure that it's flat because if there's any folds in the netting, um, the lantern flies won't crawl through to the top. So I'm um, just making sure it's flat everywhere. This part is a little bit tricky because you don't want to staple the netting to itself, but you just go back here and make sure, see how it's flat? There, you just want to make sure that there's no folds. There's that. And then we move on to the other side and basically do the same thing. So once you're done sta stapling, there should be a clear opening in there where you can see that the lantern flies would be able to get through. So then the next step is you're going to cut no more than about three fingers off of the Ziploc baggie. And this part is just going to go over one of the jugs. So then while you're making it, you want to just open the bag and put your hand through it and the other person is going to help you to fold this together just so it makes it a little bit easier to get the bag around and to secure this on top you want to use a zip tie and making sure that the zip tie is over where the excess of the bag is just to make sure that the bugs don't come out and the way that you want to put the zip tie on is 
you put it around the back and using the flat side facing towards the part that you're putting together, you just put it in and just pull and you want to make sure it's as tight as possible. Then with that, you can cut off the extra, extra part of the zip tie. And then close this up when you're done. So the next part, you're going to need your staple gun and the longer piece of the wood. And just with the staple gun, you want to make sure that you're being super careful and doing it and taking your time with it. Also noting that the staple is going to come out from where the arrow is. So you put the long wood piece behind the bottom jug that doesn't have the bag on it. And you want to make sure that it's like in the middle aligned and straight down. So this is like the middle of the netting and you want to just make sure that you can get as close to this as possible because when you wrap the netting around the tree, you want it to be even on both sides. You put the lantern fly trap on top of the longer piece of wood, making sure that it's centered in the netting. And then you're going to peel the two smaller parts away and hold them away from the piece of wood. So next, after holding the two pieces out, you're just going to use your staple gun and put it on the center of the wood block and just staple it down to make sure that the wood and the jug are secured. And then next, you're just going to put about three staples down the wood line just to make sure that the netting is secured. Again, making sure that you're in the center of the wood block. And one last final one on the bottom. So the last step, you're going to want to take the smaller piece of wood and slip it under this shorter section of the netting. And you want to make sure that both sides of the netting are lined up so that there's no like holes. So you put the wood behind and this part is a little bit trickier. Um, it takes some maneuvering. Sorry. <laughs> So you want to put the wood on, onto like a corner of a table, which makes it a lot easier to maneuver. And then you're going to take the staple gun. Yeah, and just being careful with your fingers again, you want to keep the two pieces overlapped and put about three staples in the middle of the wood. And then one last one towards the top but you don't want to put it through the jug. You just want to put it along the netting. And then the next step is going to help you tie it to your tree. You're going to want to take your nine foot piece of twine and put it back through the back of the jug handle and line it up to make sure that you have the two halves together. And then you just want to tie a regular knot. So, you take your left part, go underneath and like that and pull tight. And you want to make sure that you're over the wood piece too, just to keep it secured. And then again, you do that where you put the left part under the right and pull tight. So once the lantern flies start hashing in March and you're ready to put your trap up on a tree, what you want to do is, this is our kind of demo tree here. You're going to take the twine and wrap it around the tree and you're just going to tie a bow in the back to keep it secured. It should be pretty tight, but you don't have to go crazy with tightening it. So then once that's done at the bottom, this is already stapled, but what you're going to do is take the netting wrap it around the tree and just staple it down to make sure that the bugs won't be able to get through. So then basically they'll crawl up this way and go up into the trap. And once you're ready and the bag is full, you can empty your bugs out and you, it'll be ready to use again once you put it back up. So that was how we made our lanternfly trap. Thank you so much for watching. And we hope that you learned something from this video to help put them up on your trees and kill the lanternflies. Now go try and win the war against lanternflies. Yeah! yeah. <laughs>